I'm Steve Charney. Now, before Apple's App Store opened, there were Hot Tricks simulated apps. Short videos that when played on your iPhone or iPod Touch looked, sounded, and behaved like what we now call App Store apps. Hot Tricks, as usual, was ahead of its time. And these simulated apps are still available. And what's also neat is, not too many people have them because you can't get them in the App Store. You can only get them at Hot Tricks. In fact, I have one right here. Have you ever noticed those smudges on your iPhone screen? No matter how often you wipe them, they seem to magically reappear. Well, the other day I unlocked my iPhone to get to the root of this mystery and sat next to it very still. Guess what? <laughs> it's the iPhone snails that do all the smudging. And you know what's even worse? They're breeding. And no matter how much you wipe, you can't keep up with them. Hmm. Well, all right, there. That should keep it clean for another 10 minutes or so. Now, there are six things I want to mention to help you in performing the simulated app. First, don't tap the screen while the video is playing. It'll bring up the controls, which isn't good. You can drag your finger over the video, but don't tap. Time it right, and it looks like you're sliding the home screen back like I'm doing in an iFireplace. Second, when you're showing people anything on the iPhone or iPod Touch, don't block the screen with your head. <laughs> Hold the device behind you so you and the person you're showing it to can both see it. You see, if you hold it here or here, well then for you to look at it, you have to put your head right in the front there and block everybody's view. You, that's not good, don't do that. Third, don't show the screen until the simulated app, yes, the video, is playing. Then turn the screen back before the video is finished, you see. You can then click the big home button and nobody will ever know you played a video. And fourth and fifth, practice and practice. Because this is a video and not an iPhone app, you have to get the timing right. Run the video several times in front of a mirror before you show it to anyone. That way, you won't be surprised when something happens on the screen that you're not prepared for. Oh, I forgot the sixth one. Practice!